Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Explore. In this tutorial, we are going to assemble inline 6 engine. So let's start. From File, select New, then click on Assembly and then click OK. Select I6 crankshaft, then click Open. Click it to place it. Right click over the part and select Float. Right click over the right plane and select Normal tool. Right click again and select sketch. Select center line. Draw a vertical and horizontal center line connecting the origin point. Then exit the sketch. Now press Ctrl and select this cylindrical surface and this horizontal center line. Then click on Make. Select Concentric. Then click OK. Now select this surface and this vertical line and select coincident. Then click OK. Now you can see the part can rotate freely. Right click over right plane and select normal tool. Right click again and select sketch. Select center line. Put the cursor over this edge and the midpoint will be shown. Draw a vertical line from the previous center line through the midpoint. Now repeat this process. Now exit the sketch. Now select insert component and select first seven components. Now click on open. Now click to place the part. Now expand piston and press Ctrl and select the front plane. Now expand piston pin and select the front plane. Then click on Make. Then select Concentric and click OK. Now select the internal surface and select pin outer surface. Select Concentric and click OK. Now close the Make. Click on the front plane of the piston. Now expand connecting rod, press Ctrl and select the front plane of the connecting rod, then click on make, select concentric and click OK. Now select the surface of the pin and select internal surface of connecting rod, select concentric and click OK. Now right click over this part and select move with triad. Then rotate the part. Select this surface. Now press Ctrl and select this surface. Then select Mate. Now select Coincident, then click OK. Now select this surface and select this surface. Then click on Concentric, then click OK. Similarly for this side also. Now select the cylindrical surface of the compression ring and select the cylindrical surface of the piston pocket. Then select concentric and click OK. Raise the piston. 
select the upper surface of the compression ring and select the upper surface of the piston pocket then select coincident then click ok now expand insert component and select copy with mate now select the compression ring then click on next select this pocket and select this upper surface then click ok now close the mate now press ctrl and select the tangential surface of the welding and select the tangential surface of the piston pocket then click on mate select concentric and click ok now select this surface and this surface select coincident then click ok now close the mate expand insert component and select copy with mates select the welding then click on next select the tangential surface and select the lower surface of the pocket then click ok now select this tangential surface of the expander press ctrl and select the cylindrical surface of the pocket then click on mate select concentric then click ok raise the piston and select this edge and select this surface click on coincident then click ok select this surface press ctrl and select this surface click on mate then click on concentric and click ok now expand advanced mate select width then select this surface and this surface and then select this surface and the opposite side this surface now these two surfaces will be placed in between of the previous two surfaces then click ok now go to standard mate select concentric select the cylindrical surface of the piston and select the center line then click on concentric and click ok if you rotate the crankshaft you can see the piston is moving in reciprocating direction now we need to adjust the gaps of the rings first two rings will be at 180 degree angle with each other and the welding will be at 90 degree angle with the first two now we need to lock the rotation of these gaps so expand mate now put the cursor over these mates and a color change will help you to find your desired mate now you can see the color is changed here so right click over this mate and select edit feature now here you can see lock rotation click on it and click ok now you can see a blue dot is appeared at the middle of the concentric sign that means the rotation is locked Similarly, lock all the other rings. Now you can see all of these 
blue dots at the middle of the concentric sign that means all of the rotation is locked properly now you can see this can be rotated expand insert component and select copy with maps now select all of these parts this blue color indicates the part is selected then click on next at first it asks for concentric so select this surface then it asks for width so select these two surfaces and finally select the center line if you become confused which surface to select then you can follow the violet color which will show at the first combination which help you to select the proper surface Then close the mail. Now rotate the crankshaft so you can see the assembly works properly or not. The gaps are in proper angle with each other. Now go to file and save it. 